Hello friends. In this video, let's talk about one of the new feature in SQL Server 2022. The name of the feature is first value. So it is a one of the SQL windows function that returns the first value in an ordered partition of a result. The similarly, the similar scenario we might have solved by using kind of subquery or temporary tables or CTEs. But by using this first value, you can solve the problem within a single query. Let me write down first syntax of the first value. So let me write down a syntax here. So the syntax is first underscore value. Okay. So here you need to put some expression. So I'm going to call it as a scalar expression. Scalar expression over here. Yeah. So see this syntax little similar to the row number dense rank or rank. Okay. So let me put it as a year optional partition class. Okay. So partition by a, a kind of uh, columns or partition expression, whatever it is. Okay. So let me end it order by columns. You know this. Okay. So you will be keeping uh, ascending or descending, uh, right? Um, let me put it only, only two cases. Okay. This one. That's it. This is the syntax of the first value. So let me repeat. It is a windows function that returns the first value in ordered partition of a result set. So here, so what is mandatory is in the first value. Okay. So the scalar expression is mandatory here. So this can be a combination of columns or a single column. Okay. And over is mandatory here. Partition by class is optional while using first value. I'll show you with partition without partition as well in the example, okay, which I am going to show you. And here order by class is mandatory and the columns is mandatory and these are optional actually. Okay. So ascending and descending by default, it's ascending. So if you don't specify, it goes to a ascending. Now let me show you practically how to work with them a first value. So before going to show you directly, let me show you the data which I am planning to use. So I have created a very basic table with the name of employee. Okay. So which contains 18 records. Okay, you can see it. 18 records and employee ID, employee first name, employee last name, job, manager, hire date, salary, commission, and department ID. Okay, so I have a similarly department table as well. So I, I'll, I'll match, actually I'll use both the tables in the result set. Or even I can uh, use a first value scenario to explain with directly this table as well. So let me go to uh, my example, okay. So here I have two scenarios. So one is like I want to identify the highest salary of the entire employee table and I want to put that value as a separate column in the result set. If you see, if you see these three columns means instead of selecting every column, I selected four columns, employee first name, employee last name, salary and department ID. Okay. And I want to display the highest salary of a particular employee table on the entire table. I want to um, get it and display as a separate column here. If you see out of all these values, 7,000 is the highest salary if you see. So 7,000, 5,000, uh, 3,500 and so on. See if you see here, the 7,000 is the highest salary. Okay, I am displaying a separate column. This is the one example which I am going to show you. So sec second example is similarly the same data I am planning to use for different scenario. Employee first name, employee last name, salary and department ID. And here highest salary, the name of the column is same, but I want to display the highest salary based on the department. So if you see here, yeah, the first record is I don't have any department ID. So I displayed as it is. Now, if you come to the, the 10 department, let me highlight it. Department 10. Okay. So out of these three records, 5000 is highest. So I am displaying 5000 as highest. Within very easily, I can solve this problem. Okay, even earlier also I used to get this, in a, uh, I used to solve this, but I need to write like a kind of subqueria other ways, but here it is very easy now. 
Now, so let me come here this case. Okay, that's 20 department number out of these three records, 3570 is highest salary. Okay, let me highlight with them uh, different color if you want. Okay, little broad. Okay, so now in the similarly for this, okay, what is the highest salary of department 20 is 3570. Uh, okay, sorry, these are all 20s only. Okay, let me highlight in the same way. So now next one is 30. So out of this 30, okay, so the salary is 3420 is highest salary. So let me put it in a white color or something like that. Okay. Now the next these two is 50 and the highest salary is 7, uh, between 5 and 7, 7 is the highest salary. Okay, let me highlight in a different uh, color. Okay. Now this is how if you see here, here it is a, on the entire employee table. I'm identifying as the salary and I'm displaying a separate column. But in this scenario, scenario two, I am I am dividing the data. I am partitioning the data based on the department ID. Okay. So and I'm I'm identifying as the salary and displaying a separate value here. If you see for each and every case. Okay. So this case is three four two zero. This case is seven thousand. But here, if you see the total employee table. Let's come back to the SQL uh, aspect. How to solve this? So this is a very basic select star from employee. Okay. So let it be that query as it is. Let me prepare a separate query in the bottom. Okay. So now let's take what are all the columns required. Okay. So instead of star, I'm going to keep the columns which I required. EMP ID. Okay. Tama. EMP F name, which is nothing but a first name. So EMP uh, last name. Okay. So what else required? Uh, salary. Salary. Okay. So now let's use the first value first underscore value okay first value what column you want to display here is salary first value of salary okay so now over as I mentioned if you see the syntax over okay so order by salary so I am not going to use order pattern either either it is a sending or descending a Okay, so let me run this here. I need to put it as a the name alias name as well. So G H is highest underscore salary. Okay, now let's quickly run this. If you run this, okay, now you are getting 500. So if you see on the total the salary is here, the 500 is the least salary here. If you see out of these all 18 records. So since I didn't specify the order pattern, that's the reason why it is picking up the uh, the first value is uh, 500 okay let me put it as a descending order so let me click this okay now if you see uh, when i specify a descending order the first value of the salary is 7000 if you see here so this is coming as a 7000 separately for each and every record it added a new column actually and coming here so now similarly so what i want is but this is in the entire employee table but i want to identify the is salary on each and every department let me click copy this okay so let's come here instead of um, uh, over only order by clause i am going to partition the data based on the department number so now i am going to use um, partition by column so i am going to partition the data EPT ID. So let me add EPT ID also here. Okay. If you see, so now I am partitioning the data. I am uh, like I am, I am splitting the data based on the department ID and then ordering the data on the top of department number. Okay. So let's quickly run this. If you see here, so since this doesn't have any department number or department ID, that is the reason why this record specified separately and what are the salaries here, the same salary we got here. Similarly, if you come here for all these three records, immediate next three records, the department number is 10 and out of these 10 records, 5000, 3000 and 2940. Now highest salary is 5000. Similarly for these as well, okay, you have 3570 is a highest salary here okay so if you don't specify the descending here you will get the least salary okay now let me quickly delete this let me run this so that time i cannot put the highest salary quickly run it if you see here for, for out of these 10 departments three records if you see department number 10 as okay 2940 is the least so if you want a department name as well for this i can use it okay so i'm, I'm specifying it as a separate query let me put it okay Instead of the department ID, maybe it's difficult to understand for us. 
join department d on e dot department id equal to d dot department id instead of here i will put as a department that's it okay so here i'll put it as a descending now let me run this okay so since i didn't specify the alias name it is failing that's okay now if you run this now on the finance department 5000 is highest salary in the software uh, what is the department name here software uh, software department uh, this out of these 3570 is highest salary in the sales department this is highest salary in the admin department 700 is highest salary and if you remember earlier i have one null value in the department id since null was not defined in the department table that record is not coming now if you see at the end i am getting only 17 records okay if i specify only employee table if i directly use only employee table in the same scenario i'll get 18 records why because one one record doesn't have any department here so david um, himbury doesn't have any department so still he is there in the uh, employee table so if you run this join query then you will be missing that particular record so this is how you work with them uh, first value this is really really helping us a lot in identifying salary and the entire object in the entire table level or in the partition level as well so this is really a very good feature and we really uh, using maximum number of times in the real time procedures and other cases as well in the reporting as well thank you that's all about it if you have any questions please drop your question in the comment section we'll try to answer as soon as possible thank you